me ain't me, but promise if we add a member. I stay faithful from November on the next December. No average marriage, but your life will be such an adventure. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Garrett here, but you guys a new video, and this is gonna be on a double exposure on Photoshop, and this is not hard to do at all. But I want to start branching off my channel into more kind of um more kind of tutorials that people would use in the real world rather than just a call of duty scene to help you guys get used to how colleges are want to present yourself and etc and i apologize now that i missed yesterday's upload you know i'm trying to upload every single day i had this girl come over one of my friends and i she left and i got I was super tired and all that so i just went straight to bed at like eight o'clock so i didn't get a chance to make anything and edit it and upload it and i woke up super late so by the time i was awake you know i couldn't upload or anything but I've been very consistent, and I can't thank you guys enough for how much support you guys have gave me throughout everything. So, enough of me talking about this. Um, how we're going to be doing this double exposure, we're going to be using Photoshop. Um, you guys are going to be using either Google, or you guys are going to be using anything that you guys can find images on. I'm using Google for my uh, photos. You guys can use Shutterstock. Um, there's a bunch of professional websites you guys can use. Um, I can make a video on all that separate. But basically, we're going to be needing just a regular model or something like this, and then some like Tumblr pictures of the woods or something like that. So, uh, for the background size that I'm using, because you guys are very interested in that, I'm making a 1000 by 1000 size just because it's like a album cover Instagram picture size, nothing very fancy. If you guys want to make this for an Instagram picture, 1000 by 1000 works by, uh, fine, 613, excuse me, by 613, whatever a square image is, usually tends to work perfectly fine. So. You guys obviously saw my example of double exposure. There's a bunch of more in-depth um, examples on Google. You guys can look at it for inspiration, like a deer, um, Breaking Bad. Just a bunch of things you guys can use. Um, animals people use, stuff like this. So before I go on with the more tutorials, we're guys are gonna go over that's the, basically the meaning of double exposure. I looked it up on Google, and it's the repeated exposure of a photographic plate or film to light often producing ghost images example one and one is put in together so the guy would be the ghost image and then the guy is transparent on the other person so uh, basically really easy to do we're not going to be using anything and i have some more examples to show you guys and uh what i'm going to be using is just a picture of a model i think this is it right here um this is just what i'm going to be using you guys can use anything you want i usually prefer using it with a white background or no background it's very difficult to do with that one so if i was you guys i would totally do this on a white background and as i said before it's not impossible but it's very difficult or very unlikely to get it done the way you want it to look like so i'm just using a model picture like this you guys can go on google and type in model png and you guys can find a picture like this or find your own picture just make sure it has a white background if not pen tool i have a tutorial on how to use the pen tool correctly if you guys want to go watch that go check it out on my channel but basically i'm using this picture of this girl and then for the other exposure stocks i'm using just like some pictures i found on google if you type in like woods tumblr at the end of it and put it to um all sizes or large sizes you guys are gonna find some pretty dope looking trees as weird as that sounds but uh basically it's a really nice place to go find some trees i like to use stuff with kind of a lighter sky so it blends better into the sky but uh that's just me you guys can use literally whatever you want so let's go back to photoshop and let's import the picture of your girl obviously right here mine has a transparent bottom because that's the way the picture came and you guys can literally just drag it in and if it goes in you guys can just drag it in and you guys can put it wherever you want. I'm just gonna put it straight in the middle just because it's a lot easier for me to use. And if you guys are designers and you guys are designers for let's say the Call of Duty community or the very um, online social community, you guys will have packs like this that have the Ingenuity pack, um, the Obey pack. These packs have a lot of renders in them and a lot of cool stocks that you can use to make something look cool. But uh, for this sake, we're just gonna be using Google and stuff. As but uh, as I said before, you know, just go through this, try to find the best possible picture you want. You guys can have a road coming out of her forehead. You guys can literally do anything you want mine i'm going to be using just this stock first so all you want to do is literally copy the image and then paste it in and then you want to hide it and we're going to just hide it for the sake of doing one thing first you want to go to this little adjustment right here and go to a black and white and you want to just make it black and white if you guys want to you guys can if you don't want to you don't have to but it's just better to kind of create a cooler effect and then you guys can grab an exposure and take the gamma correction just a little bit to the right to kind of create a uh, shadow interface so uh, basically you guys can unhide this layer and all you have to do, believe it or not, is hold alt and then click right here. You see that little kind of arrow pointing down on my layers. If you click right here, 
it'll just overlap the person if you guys are not using a render with a uh, white background transparent background and let's just say it's a girl with the whole white background what you would have to do is you'd have to take this magic tool right here it's called the magic wand tool and you would need to click inside of her face and you see how my magic wand tool is highlighting everything outside of her body or inside of her body. You want to do that, hit control J, and then label this layer, just whatever model render, and then clip um, that image straight onto that one model picture. For my sake though, I do have the render of this, which is amazing for my part, and it just goes on perfectly fine. Um, where you want to put the picture though, if you guys were doing it the way I was doing it before and you want it kind of on the forehead, I would make it so the trees or like the skyline is kind of going over here. And then right here you guys can do one of two things. You guys can put this normal onto screen, which is kind of going to create this kind of a uh, weird kind of woods effect through her face. You know, you can put it up in here to your trees. But uh, what I like doing is I like keeping it on normal and I like putting it just like this. And then taking my eraser tool and just erasing the bottom very fast on the bottom but very kind of slow and then you guys can change the size my size is on a 400 you guys can take it to like 100 and just erase the eyes and then what you want to do is just kind of erase the top so everything kind of like fades together and then what else you can do is grab of course a bigger size and you guys can fade it in like that so kind of her her head Kind of creates this cool looking tree effect and then another cool thing to do is if you guys make a new layer above everything you guys can grab a brush on the size like pretty decently big i would give it like a 500 or so and just click like three times or just click a bunch of times above her head on her cheeks and let's just say one on her sternum and it'll create kind of a nice big effect and no drop effect of course you want to keep it on normal you guys can put it on normal um i already erased enough that it's not going to do anything so i'm going to keep it on screen or sorry i'll leave it on normal you guys can put it on screen you guys can put it on soft lay which is not going to do anything overlay which i believe won't do anything either my opinion just keep it on normal and just kind of do stuff like this but uh let's say you guys want to do something else and you want to do uh let me go back to the woods and the tumblr page and let's just say you want to do something kind of different you want to let's just have a some wood chopper whatever this is called those were like little weeds that the redneck stepped on but uh basically the same thing same thing you did before paste it in, in this case it's a lot bigger so i'm gonna hit it with a Control t hold shift and then just drag to the bottom corner maybe make it a little bit bigger and we're gonna put it same spot and maybe this would match like her personality better if you guys could judge someone on like that and you guys can basically do the same thing you were doing before just kind of erase it and you guys can have this girl with kind of uh i don't know I, re I really don't want to be that kid but those little redneck things don't know what to call them i wasn't a kid that grew up next to farms so can't help you on that but uh basically you can do the same thing you can also paste it back in maybe make it a little bit smaller and then flip it around and then you can put it at the bottom as well maybe make it a little bit smaller so it just covers the uh, shoulders and then same thing just erase and obviously i would do this a lot more but you guys can have kind of a uh, cool little shoulder effect um i'm just gonna leave it the same have this kind of come here so at this part you guys can take it however you want there's a lot of cool things you can do as i said before if you hop in like these packs and you just go through their stocks or like their inspirations they'll leave you you can literally come up with endless kind of a possibilities because you guys will have your own uh your own kind of thing they uh they come with cc's and stuff which in my opinion don't really do anything lights obviously textures which would help kind of create a uh, weird effects onto them as i said before though um it's really kind of difficult to do some things just because you want to keep it so calm and so clean but uh as i said before just go through these packs like you guys can go through like the abstract kind of stuff um creative textures and badges backing stuff like this you guys can literally take this to any level like if you really want it to be different and you want to do something different let's just say you want to take the color red maybe your favorite color is red make it a little bit different don't always just use the top right hand corner no matter how much you want to and you guys can like cover her eyes 
Oh, I forgot. I have it on black and white. Bring it to the top, of course. You can, like, cover her eyes. Let's just say we're going to center this. And let's just say you can type in any kind of word. Let's just say 10,000 subs, right? And you can put it this way or a cool way you guys can do it that I went over in one of my other videos is a text tool. You can grab this vertical type and it just looks a lot cooler. And you can put like 10,000 right here. And what this can do, you guys can create album art, you guys can create a bunch of things with this kind of stuff. It's very possible that you guys can do a bunch of creative things with this, YouTube banners, Twitter headers, um, social media advertisements, movie posters, anything you guys want to, it's very possible. So this is going to be it for the tutorial. Of course, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to drop a subscribe if you guys want to see more tutorials. As always, there's going to be a link in the description to see the video form, you guys can submit your own video ideas. This didn't come from the form, sadly, I know not a lot of my videos come from the form but if you guys want to see like a vlog or something or like a day in the life a uh a certain video of me talking about something let me know of course and i'll try to do it the best i can as i said before though definitely watch this video definitely learn something and it's very easy to do a kind of a style like this so as always if you guys like this video leave a like and i hope to see you guys later on peace out Tomorrow